We are about to get underway for the third round. This bout scheduled for five. And a big shot by Rajon Gruel. Kenyon's hands are down, but he's selling that takedown. Duck Thunder looks for that single leg. Can he put the challenger on his back? Gruel hasn't been able to defend one of these yet, so judging by what we've seen through the first 10 and a half minutes, it's going to be Gruel on his back. And there we see it. Side control. Enjoyed by the champion. Now he's thinking, of, look at this. He, he's giving him space. Now, Gruel's doing a fantastic job, but Mitch ends up on his back every time. Maybe he's giving him space on purpose to cause him to come up and take the back when he has the opportunity. Gruel doing a good job, preventing both hooks. Now we see both hooks in. Yeah, we saw Gruel here a number of times in round two, and he was equal to it every time. But you can't play with fire over and over and over again with the featherweight champion. And right now, Mitch is under the chin. No, again, Rajon Gruel almost no neck. This is exhausting for both of these guys. Gagnon keeps coming back up. Now he's got an arm trap. See that arm? Yes. He's got the left arm trap. A la BJ Penn. Does he have it pinned? No. Gruel manages to get the arm free. Got vital if he wants to survive this round. Can he shake the champion off of his back? Can he get this monkey off of his back? And yes, he does! Gagnon is relentless with the takedown. And I think, you know, for some guys, the wrestling is exhausting, but Gagnon's been doing it his whole life. So he's got that ability to switch to it, and it gives him a bit of a break, and it's more tiring on Gruel. Gruel thought about the Kimura, but left himself wide open. Now Mitch Gagnon almost in the full mount. Yeah, that's the choice you want to take there. Wow, he's got it now. Gagnon is in deep, deep, deep trouble here. Rajon Gruel corking on the shoulder of the champion Mitch Gagnon. Is it Can he switch to an arm lock here? Gagnon in serious trouble. He is in deep, deep trouble here. He's got to move the right direction. He's, oh, look at the bend in that arm. He does survive, gets to the opposite side. Wow. Tremendous battle we have for the ringside. 145 pound strap. The guts on both of these guys. Now Mitch has gone for that rear naked choke over and over again. Maybe it's a good idea to switch to punches when he gets to the back this time. Robin Black, the winner of this bout, definitely deserves to take home that title. But either way, both guys showcasing how much of a warrior they truly are. The big difference in this fight has been Gruel's inability to stop the vicious takedowns of Gagnon. Gagnon's using simple, basic single legs with a chest pressure and getting it every time. And now he's going to slam him. And he does! Tremendous job by the champion. There's a head and arm triangle opportunity here, or a dark stroke. And uh, Mitch Gagnon likes to use the dark stroke. Gagnon wearing down his opponent. Pounding the body, pounding the head. Methodically picking apart Rajon Gruel, wearing on him in every sense of the word. Wow, this is a gutsy fight by both of these guys. Gruel's going to look for that Kimura again. Beautiful. Vicious slam by Mitch Gagnon on Rajon Gruel. A spectacular night of fights. So far from the ringside organization, Mitch Gagnon thrilling the fans here in attendance with a TKO from a slam. Look at that little stud <laughs> just strolling around the ring there. Look at the size of the legs on this kid. He's at 145, but it's because of his short stature that he's so stocky. And because of that and his wrestling ability, he took over in rounds two and three. Look at the slam here. Now it's right onto the side of the neck. There it is, completely legal. Oh, bends him in half. Hyperextension stuns him completely, and you see the tap. The referee didn't see it, so Mitch starts unloading. 
Wow. Watch the fold here. Oh, he tried to tuck. Wow. He's going to be all right. And clearly, he doesn't have any break or severe injury to his neck. But it was like getting hit by a brick wall there. Brutal. And there we see the thumbs up from Rajon Gruel. Just gave Yves Charette the thumbs up. And this guy deserves some serious applause. Rajon Gruel, tough as nails, came here to take the featherweight title home. Unfortunately, it didn't work out because the champion was just too tough tonight. It's too tough, but man, this kid challenged. Man, he hung in there. He was tough. He looked great on the feet. It was his inability to stop the takedowns that was the difference. But, you know, you want a shot at the 145 title in ringside? You've got to go through Rajon Gruel because he wants a shot next as well. He wants a rematch in this fight. And, you know, who's going to be next for him? Rajon Gruel suffers his first professional mixed martial arts loss at the hands of the champion. He won this belt. 365 Alors, days ago today. It's the one year anniversary of the belt. Marc -André Côté met fin au combat at 3 minutes 47 du troisième round. Referee subs the fight at 3.47 of the third round. Le vainqueur, par soumission suite à une projection, the winner by tap out due to protection. Et toujours champion ringside des poids plumes and still ringside featherweight champion. Michel Mitch Gagnon! Mitch Gagnon, I guess they're calling it a submission victory. I guess uh, Rajon Gruel did tap out, yes, so. Yes, he did. Uh, you could call it a TKO by slam, or you could call it a submission due to slam.